The war collapse of the late 80s will go down as one of Australia's worst business disasters. And a New South Wales wool grower who's been researching his industry's darkest days says it could happen again. But not everyone agrees with such a dire assessment. Adrienne Francis reports. It was a crashing fall from grace. For decades, the nation rode on the sheep's back. Then in 1989, the market collapsed. Our income halved, so uh, we, we still have a considerable farm debt, and I would lay most of that at the feet of this political debacle. Southern New South Wales grazier Charles Massey has spent the past 10 years investigating the collapse of the industry. A story emerged that uh, most people weren't aware of, and that was a political man-made disaster that could have been avoided. And he says it started with a minimum price of wool being set in 1974 by the federal government. But during the corporate euphoria of the late 80s, that price was set too high, forcing the peak grower body, the Australian Wool Corporation, to buy up close to 5 million bales at auction. A political flaw where the growers were making judgments about the future of their product and it should be the consumers. When the crash hit, the losses were mammoth, totalling $12 billion, according to Mr Massey. In today's terms, that's $20 billion. And so it makes every other business disaster in Australian history uh, babies. And he says those industry bodies that played a hand in the collapse need to be disbanded. But Australian Wool Innovation says lessons were learned. The um, business had been restructured where the shareholders, that is the growers, have a vote. Uh, on their board. But there is concern the heartache for wool growers could happen again. We still have generic promotion and sadly I don't think we really have learnt that lesson. Australian wool innovation disagrees. 20 years later the industry has gone full circle with the wool price again at record highs. Adrian Francis, ABC News, Canberra.